common in the United States. According to Adoption.com, 2-5% to of all children in the United States are adopted. Adoption.com defines it as the legal process that creates a new permanent parent-child relationship where one didn't exist before. Because adoption rates are on the rise, I'm going to tell you guys about a few of the different kinds of adoptions, how to go about the adoption process, and a few reasons why parents choose to adopt. There are many different types of adoption, but I'm only going to tell you guys about open and closed adoption and domestic and international adoption. Open adoption is when the biological parents have a say in who the adoptive parents are, and throughout the pregnancy, they usually stay in contact, and sometimes after the baby is born, they still stay in contact. Closed adoption is when it's through an agency, and the adoptive parents are put on a waiting list, and they wait, and hopefully they are matched with the baby, and there's no contact between the biological and adoptive parents. Domestic adoption is when it's within the United States, and it's usually smoother and quicker, and usually, Background information is available for the adoptive parents, and it's easier to receive a newborn baby. International adoption is usually always closed, and there's no background information because a lot of the kids up for adoption internationally were in orphanages, and it's a lot harder to get a newborn baby. And I found that on mentalhealth.com. Next point is a, diff a few different ways to adopt kids. <coughs> Two ways are through foster care and adoption agencies. According to the Dave Thomas Foundation, there are over 500,000 foster kids in America, and out of that number, 145,000 are waiting to be adopted. The average amount of time that foster kids are in the system is three years, and within those three years, they are moved from multiple foster care homes and separated from any siblings that they may have had. The next is adoption agencies. There's independent and private. According to Livestrong.com, agencies provide background information and guidance throughout the whole adoption process. If you use a private agency, the child that you're adopting sometimes will have to be put in the foster care system until the process is finalized. And with independent adoption, the child usually goes right to the adoptive parent so they don't have to stay in foster care. Every couple or parent has a different reason for adopting, but according to American Adoptions, two of the reasons are infertility, which is the inability to um, have a biological child, and the feeling of the need to help others out. When a couple realizes that, they're, that they can't have a baby, sometimes they realize that adoption is the same thing. You get a child, it's just, it doesn't matter whether it's biological or not because their dreams were to become parents and they'll do whatever it takes to have a kid. According to HowToGetPregnant.com, another way is to adopt a child, no, another reason they adopt a child is because they feel the need to help the underprivileged, underprivileged. And a great way to do this is adopt through foster care, because a lot of those kids were put in foster care because they were exposed to drugs or violence. And and also, some people have said they adopt because they feel like the kids in foster care don't have a stable and loving home that they deserve. And in conclusion, I have provided you guys with a few different types of adoption, um, some ways to go about it, and some reasons. And me, myself, being adopted, I think that it's a great way to expand or start your family. <laughs>